24-year-old cyclist Carlton Robinson crossed the finish line in fourth place in the 94th Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic. He was the first Belizean to cross the finish line. But who is this young man whose name filled the hearts of Belizeans with hopes of victory? It's a wonderful feeling, huh? Um, but I don't ride this race to be the first Belizean, I ride this race to win. But all that come with the first Belizean, um, um, it's an honor to be the first Belizean. Carlton Robinson picked up cycling in 2017, influenced by his father, Carl Robinson Sr., who rode as a hobby. I got back on the bike due to some health competition, complications. Huh? I was at the diabetic line, you know, borderline, as they say, you know, I was overweight. So I needed to shed some weight, and that's when I, I personally took back the bike. So my oldest son, he was riding with me at the time. This younger one wanted to ride, so we got him a little mountain bike, and that's when he started to ride. He met Baron Pope, and from there, he fell in love with the sport. And I could remember Andrew Adonis telling me that, he said, I taught your oldest son is the one he said, but this this guy right here, this younger one, he be the one. As any good father would try, I encourage him. I stood by him, and I continue to encourage him and continue to stand by him. A cyclist on the highways and a tradesman by day, Carlton Robinson works alongside his father in their air conditioning business. A graduate of Sadie Vernon High School and IT vet. Carlton Robinson recalls his first racing in competitions organized by Kaya Katus, a former women's cross-country champion. I started a ride back in 2017, uh, where my dad and my brother was just riding uncompetitively. And I just decided to tag along with them. And Therefore, uh, Kaya Katus had some high school series where I went to try them out and I fell in love with cycling. Recently, Carlton Robinson placed second in the DJ Wallet Valentine Cycling Tour. And this is not his first time competing in a cross-country classic. However, his name was not ringing through your televisions or radios because Robinson did not complete his first two attempts and he was the 24th rider to finish in 2023. But as fate would have it, he came in fourth place on his fourth ride in the Classic. The preparation was, um, we started to prepare for cross country from August. Um, it's not just riding. Um, we had a whole off season, went into the gym, did some gym work, um, did some some long hours on the bike, um, some seven, eight hours riding. Growing up in Belize City, Carlton Robinson encountered the same types of distractions and challenges that many youths are faced with in the old capital. But his father and cycling kept him grounded. First of all, you got to be stern, you know. The rules got to be the rules, you know. You got to, first of all, look out for their safety, you know. Because, as we well know in Belize here, it's easily for the young men who doesn't have any kind of guidance, parental guidance, especially a fatherly guidance, to fall along the wayside, no? So, I'm heavily on getting an education and com being compliant to the rules. Cycling will do that for you in a whole. Um, when you finish riding and you ride uh, six to five hours, you don't have time to do anything else. All you want to do is sleep. So. That's, that's the way. There has been an outpouring of congratulatory messages from Belizeans to Carlton Robinson, the first Belizean cyclist to cross the finish line on Saturday. He says that he is overwhelmed by the support and that his heart is set on winning a Holy Saturday cross-country cycling classic. I know I, I put in the work to be here. Um, this year I put in the most work I ever put in. So I'm just reaping what I put in. For me, as a father, as his father, I see it as a great achievement, you know. We have come so far, but yet we haven't reached where he wants to reach, where he's supposed to reach. I believe in him very much. I, I know what he can do, and I see how hard he works 
at getting what he wants to get done, you know. I am super proud as a dad, as his father, you know, as a Belizean, because this is our national day of racing. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.